Hello everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to KXAN Live. I'm Esmeralda Zamora and I'm coming to with you with some breaking news out of Maynor, uh, Maynor High School. A student was reportedly stabbed and that later led to the death of this student. We have some information, but right now I want to pull up this video from our uh, camera that is live on the scene at Maynor High School. We have individuals walking out of the high school. The school asked students to be picked up early and they will not have school on Wednesday. Now let's get into what happened. A Maynor, a Maynor Senior High School student was stabbed by another student and subsequently died, according to officials. Earlier today, a student is in police custody. Maynard ISD told us that a call came in to Austin Travis County EMS around 12.45 p.m. and on Tuesday today for a report of the stabbing at the high school. The agency said that medics arrived on the scene and attempted life-saving efforts on the student but were unsuccessful. The student was pronounced dead on the scene, according to Austin Travis County EMS. Um, the district spokesperson said the stabbing happened after an altercation between two students. The district said the school closed early on Tuesday and classes are canceled for the rest of today and for Wednesday at Maynard Senior High School and Maynard Early College High School. There are no other details as of right now. We do have a camera crew that is out at Maynard High School. That's the video that you're seeing on your screen right now. Um, our camera crew is grabbing video and they're seeing how students and parents are getting picked up from school and going home because the school has asked the students to go home for the rest of today and even for the rest of tomorrow. If you just joined us, let's go ahead and recap on what has happened here at Maynard High School. A Maynard senior student was stabbed by another student and subsequently died, according to officials. We heard from Avis Trani, Av Austin Travis County EMS around 12.45 p.m. today for a report of the stabbing at the high school. Medics arrived on the scene and attempted life-saving efforts for this student, but they were unsuccessful, and the student was pronounced dead on the scene, according to Austin Travis County EMS. The district spokesperson said that the stabbing happened after an altercation between two students. The district said that the school will be closing early today. As you can see on your screen, these are all the students that are heading home, getting picked up early by their parents. They also said that the school will be canceled for mon for the rest of Wednesday. I'm sorry. So today, from here on, school is canceled, and all of Wednesday, if your child goes to Maynard High School, the school will be canceled for the rest of today and for tomorrow. As of right now, this is all we know. We do have all this information on our website, kxcn.com. If you would like to read up on this or find the latest updates into what is happening, that the information is on our website, kxcn.com. If you just joined us, again, I want to reiterate what just happened at Maynard High School earlier today around 12.45 p.m. Austin Travis County EMS arrived to the scene at Maynard High School after receiving a report of a stabbing at the school. According to the agency, medics arrived on the scene and attempted life-saving efforts on the students but were unsuccessful. The student was pronounced dead on the scene according to Austin Travis County EMS. I'm listening in, but you all are listening to me. I can hear sirens. I can hear um, students walking across the street, uh, police officers directing them, a lot of honking. Um, the district spokesperson said that the stabbing happened after an altercation between two of their students. The district said that they will be closing early today from here on to the rest of the day, and they have canceled classes for all of Wednesday at Maynard Senior High School, as well as Maynard Early College High School. As of right now, these are all the details that we have. Um, we have all of these information and more details on this on our website, kxn.com, and we will be continually updating it as information comes in. Right now, we just know that there was an altercation between two students, which led to a stabbing. Austin Travis County EMS attempted life-saving um, help for this student, and it, unfortunately, they were unsuccessful, and the student was pronounced dead on the scene. So as of right now, we just know one student has been pronounced deceased. One student is in custody of, with Austin police, according to the high school, and school has been canceled for the rest of today and into tomorrow. I'm gonna leave this video up for just a few minutes.
And if you're just joining us, I want to recap on what we are looking at right now. We are looking at a live cam shot of Maynard High School. An incident happened earlier today around 1245, where Austin Travis County EMS was called and reported to Maynard High School. There was an incident, an altercation between two students that eventually led to a stabbing. The Austin Travis, Austin Travis County EMS responded immediately and they attempted life-saving efforts on the student, but unfortunately they were unsuccessful. The student was pronounced dead on the scene according to Austin Travis County EMS. We have a spokesperson from the high school that said that this altercation was between two students as of right now, one student is in custody with Austin PD and the other student unfortunately was pronounced dead. The district said that they will be closing school early today, Tuesday, and that classes will be canceled for the rest of tomorrow, Wednesday, October 30th. And the Maynard Senior High School campus, as well as the Maynard Early College High School campuses, will be canceled all of today and also for tomorrow, Wednesday. There are no other details. So far, we have an article on our website, khcn.com, if you'd like to read up on exactly what information we have as of right now. We will continue to update that page as well as we get that information. Uh, this is an ongoing investigation, so we can be getting information all um, up until the investigation is released. But you can find all that information on our website, kxcn.com. As of right now, all we know is that one student was pronounced dead on the scene and the other student is in custody. This was an altercation between two students, and um, as of right now, the school has been canceled for Maynard ISD, Maynard High School, as well as Maynard Early College High School campuses. We we're looking at a live picture of the school. They released a statement to their parents asking for parents to come and pick up their students immediately because they are canceling classes for the rest of the day. So as you can see, it looks like there is heavy traffic along the road at Maynard High School of parents showing up to pick up their children after this tragic incident. Um, we can only hope that school is canceled for the rest of the day, which it is, and also for tomorrow as we, um, the school figures out what is happening. Um, as of right now, we only know that it was just an altercation between two students that led to a stabbing, and unfortunately, one of those students was pronounced dead on the scene, according to Travis County EMS. I'm gonna leave this picture up just a little bit longer before we go. All right, thanks so much for joining us. This is all the information that we have right now. I wanna reiterate what had happened before we head out from this stream. We do know that there was an altercation between two students at a Maynard High School campus, and the altercation led to a stabbing. Unfortunately, when Austin Travis County EMS arrived to the scene, they attempted a life-saving um, help for this student, and unfortunately, they were unsuccessful, and this student was pronounced dead. The students at Maynard High School are um, canceling their, the, the school district of Maynard 
uh, is canceling the school for the rest of today and also for Wednesday tomorrow. And parents, as you can see, are picking up their students right now. We have all this information on our website, kxan.com, if you would like to go in and read all the latest details as we put them in there. Thanks so much for joining us. Esmeralda Zamora.